At the age of seven, I was introduced to porn by my cousin, something that grew from videos and pictures to a relationship that wasn't, that wasn't right. My name is Kyle Turner, here my story. When I was younger, my mom, I was definitely a mama's boy. I love my mom so much. My dad was, um, he was the discipline. Um, he made sure I did everything right, and he made me the man I am today. I had a good life. My life was good. I was happy. Um, until at the age of seven, I was introduced to porn by my cousin. He um, gave me a new perspective on women and showed me a way to look at them um, that was wrong, but I didn't know. I was a seven-year-old kid that was innocent, and as time went on and as I grew older, um, me and my cousin had just this secret that we kept and that we didn't tell to anybody uh, over the course of nine to ten years. It was just uh, something that grew from videos and pictures to a relationship that wasn't, that wasn't right. And at first it was curiosity because I didn't know what I was doing and there was no one there to tell me that it was wrong because no one knew. We were just being kids. And, but once you know, I was saved and I was baptized and I believed in the Lord and I started to fight this um, relationship uh, and this uh, sin that I'd been holding back. Um, when I, I was on a mission trip in Trinidad and Tobago, and well, the sermon was on secret sin. Immediately when he said that, you know, my heart just kind of dropped and I sank and I just knew that, that God was, you know, poking at me and he was, you know, telling me directly, this can't be in the dark anymore. And um, I had spent the entire free day talking with my youth pastor about the secret sin that I'd been hiding and that I'd been feeling guilty about for the past three years and how I felt ashamed and how I wasn't uh, sure if I could fit into society because I thought that I was, um, I thought that people would call me, um, call me names and call me something that I didn't think I was. I really felt the God speaking to me, telling me to use my story, um, to use what had happened to me for something that, um, that was bigger than me, to help other kids that are, you know, that are going through something similar or maybe even something that's exactly the same. And I, I started to see that. I had gone on the same exact mission trip actually this next year after and I had shared my story with the entire um, group. I think it was around 120 people and afterward um, somebody came up to me and um, he told me that he had been going through the same thing and it was just really powerful to see how fast um, the reaction was and how fast that I made a difference just by standing up and talking about what I had gone through in my life for five minutes and it helped somebody else release what they had been hiding and what they had been putting away for another day and it was just really awesome to see how God was using my story that I thought was a curse that I thought was you know the the scar of my life, the, the thing that I thought I was going to be ashamed for, ashamed of and scared that people would see me as something that I wasn't. If your story is like mine, I just want to let you know that God loves you so much and that you're not alone. Even when you feel like you're something that you're not, God's always watching over you. Even when you feel like you've done things that define you, that make you something 
that you can't return from. God can take the most impossible situations and make them into something so amazing and so beautiful to glorify His name.